So you have a single campaign and then the ad groups underneath that. Is each ad group like a separate keyword or how are you breaking out those groups? Yeah. So we would do one ad group because again, the budget filters to all ad groups. Um, and then we tend to group uh, match types into their own campaigns. So you have like one here, one there. Reason Got being it, is yes. when you start adding negatives and things, you can get kind of messy if you like lump match types together in those things. And so the difference is then you have to decide. So that's the structure. You have your products. Also, I would start with sponsored product ads. I don't care how big your budget is. Like we have brands that are spending, you know, if you're spending like $100,000 a month or something or above that, by far, I think like at least 80, minimum 75% of your ad spend is probably going to be going to sponsored products. So mm -hmm. should you run the other ad types? Yes, but on product launch, you should be fine, especially if you have a smaller budget and you really need to focus in that budget. I would recommend sponsored product ads. Um, they also have the most impact on organic ranking, which is typically going to be your goal on product yeah. launch. Mm -hmm. And then the difference is going to be uh, what keywords do you choose? That is probably the biggest one. And so our research goes around um, where does the product fit into the market? Ideally, you should have, if you sourced your product really well, already have an idea of where that product fits in the market. But actually what your listing SEO is going to be. So if you've gotten like work from a company who did the listing for you, or maybe your team, you might have a list of keywords. Uh, SEO and Amazon advertising like keywords will differ because oftentimes you'll put like broader keywords or like more high volume keywords in your SEO, those may not be the best to go after upon launch. Sure. Really what you want to look at is just take a good hard look at where does my product fit in the market? A great way to do this. We still do this when we're doing keyword research. Uh, it's manual, but you can go to the, go on Amazon, type in that search and say like, does my product fit on the search page? Um, the more the product fits on the search page, the more you can be pretty certain that your specific product is the type of product that those shoppers are looking for. Because rank is determined in a lot of ways by sales velocity and high conversions. So if there's high sales velocity, high conversions for like products, you can say like, well, these are being purchased through this keyword. And so we really just want to find like, where can we best fit in the market? And then the other thing that not a lot is, I'm trying to get this message out here a little bit, is when you're also curating that keyword list, you should be filtering it based on your available budget. Um, oftentimes what I see from like new sellers is they'll say, oh, like, you know, they'll go on YouTube and it's not like it was a bad launch strategy, but someone's like, all right, you got to find like 200 keywords and you got to make these five campaigns and then you got to, you know, put all this stuff up, put them in really high bids, be super aggressive out of the gate. And then they go there and they put that up there and they're like, oh my gosh, I just spent like $200 <laughs> in the first 24 hours and my entire ad budget for the week was like a hundred dollars. Like yeah. it doesn't work. And so the way that you kind of figure out where this lies with your account is you can look at the cost per clicks. Helium 10 for the US only, but it will have the average cost per or Amazon suggested bids. You also can, before you even launch your products, providing you have those ASINs in there, you can go, I call it creating like a dummy campaign, meaning you're going to like act like you're going to create a campaign, but you won't actually click launch. So you're not going to spend anything. You can go and add those products in, add the keywords you want, and it will actually show you the suggested bids. So these are rough estimates. Anyone who's doing advertising for any length of time is like, yeah, those are not exactly accurate and it's, mm -hmm. you're right, but they are the closest we're going to get to accuracy before we hit go. Um, and so that will give you an idea. So let's say I had a daily budget of a hundred dollars and I look at one keyword and it's like $5. Well, $5 a click, that adds up really fast. I can only afford so many clicks. So maybe there's something else that's going to make sense of me or sense for me. So what we find is like, it's a bit art, it's a bit science. It is mathematics at the end of the day. I like spreadsheets. You can like forecast out these things. I find it fun. But it's like, okay, so how many clicks can I afford at whatever the averages are going to be? And then like, okay, so if I can only afford, if you can only afford five keywords, I would much prefer you say, all right, these are my five keywords. I'm going to advertise on these ones. I'll get the sales to be able to work up and add more later. But if I can keep my budget active for the entire day on five keywords, that's going to get me way farther than if I can only afford like 
two hours of activity because I pick 50 keywords. Yeah. 